Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Samantha with Jolie Flips Vintage. I am heading over to Hialeah, Florida. We are gonna go thrifting at the red, white, and blue. I just got done with a vintage vignettes train, which was, it's an all day event where sellers get 30 minute slots and it was hosted, um, it was hosted by my friend Amy Perrin who is on Whatnot. So if you're on Whatnot, please, uh, follow Amy Perrin, P-E-R-R-I-N. She's a lot of fun. She does night shows where she unboxes items that she either thrifts or purchases from other sellers on whatnot. It's such a great community and she's a wonderful person and I encourage you to check her out. So I just got done with my 30 minute slot. That was really fun and I'm headed over to Red, White and Blue in Hialeah and I want to take you with me. So let's go. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. You guys, parking is so bad here on the weekends. Anyway, so just to give you an idea of the plaza that I'm in, I think it's called the Flamingo Plaza. So you have red, white, and blue right there. A really cool grocery store right there anyway then you have thrift city and that is a lot of clothes uh, there are a lot of clothes in there sorry I can't speak and then community family thrift I don't recommend that place um, the prices are really sky high Did you see how far I parked <laughs> remember that they are cash only not all red white and blue stores are cash only but the majority of them that I know of the one in Miami I think takes cards so here we go i actually saw this from afar this is a brass wreath for three dollars and 99 cents i'm gonna pick this up it's made in hong kong it's vintage that reminds me of something i saw andy pick up if you guys don't follow andy she is on her channel is all put together hold on one second i gotta get out of someone's way yeah so i'm gonna put her name right down here all put together she went to an estate sale and she recently had two videos, two awesome parts of her videos. And uh, two, did I say that right? Two parts of her videos. I got distracted by something. Please follow her, she's great, you guys. Look what I found. Oh, I thought that was Raku, but it's not. It's 99 cents, I think, because this flew right off. But it's a cool piece of pottery. I wish it was signed. It's kind of, you know, cool no look how many people there are in here <laughs> crazy isn't it this is a cool pottery 2.99 there's some crazy in it i'm gonna take it i'm gonna think on that one all right what else are we looking at here here's a cute little black pottery pot for 99 cents uh, it has a couple of chips on it. For that reason, I just won't pick it up. But it is cool. It doesn't sit right either. I think that's the point. It's supposed to be cool like that. Anyway, this one's signed. Barbados Pottery, which I like. But there's a chip. Made in China and made in China. Definitely hold on to your purse here, you guys. I'm telling you to do that crate and barrel there's a little white glass piece but i'm not going to pick that up this one is kind of cool it's 199 no chips i like it i like the crackle we'll get that and this hummingbird is cute but it's resin it's only three dollars i don't think on that oh, i thought this was uranium not uranium what about this Wait, it looks kind of kind of lightweight. Pier One, Christmas 1993. It was made for that year, I guess. Made in Italy. Ten dollars though, and I didn't look at what the colors were. You know, when I find out, I'll tell you. But I missed it. This is probably made in Italy. Yeah, you could just feel the quality after a while when you pick it up. Wow, look at this. Oh, it's ceramic. I thought it was metal. It was so well made. Oh, it's all chip, but it's nice. It's oh, it's a plate though. Do I want a plate? 
mean, that's so cool. But I'm gonna pass on the plate. I, I really, I have to resist the urge. This is some kind of purple sun catcher. It says the wedding day and three weeks after. Oh, <laughs> they're smiling and then they're not. Oh, and it's with pewter. Oh, I'm gonna pick that up for $2. That is hilarious. Really funny sun catcher. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was a fairy lamp, like a small one. That would have been cool. Look at these. They're like ice blocks. No, I'm gonna pass. Oh, this is Aura 4. Aura 4 can sell pretty well. But, um, $10. So no, these Indiana glass cats, they actually glow a bit. There's manganese in them to maintain clarity. Um, you know, some people are into the glowy thing. I know I got a comment once, like, don't even mention the glowy thing, but you know what? Some people like the glow, so I'm gonna mention it. This is really cool, $20. It looks like all Aura 4 pieces are gonna be expensive here. So, Cresco Peru, little pot for $2. Do I like it? I mean, I do. I don't know that I need it, that's the thing. We're looking for unique pieces here. All right. Sagittarius. Probably a little Israeli piece. Yeah, for $2. I do like picking up Israeli glass because they always do that kind of verdigris brass, you know, the green on the brass. Brass is back. Um, as Lady Mary Beth says, another fellow YouTuber that we should all be following right now. The information that lady has in her brain is insanity. She's awesome. She does a lot of research and she's fantastic. Okay, what is this? Funny, I was like really hoping when I picked this up, somehow this would be a Raku candle holder because of the cracking, but it's not. This one fools me all the time. They're Mikasa. Oh no, this one's Crate and Barrel actually. They're very nice, but not to be mistaken for, um, uh, what are they called? Glassy babies. Wow, that took me a minute. I even had to turn off the camera for a second. This might be a John Perry piece, which would, yeah, for $2, that is quite worth it. This value is probably about yeah, 15 to $20. On whatnot, I would probably start that at $8 starting bid. That's a good profit. Pay two dollars, you four exit minus eleven percent of their. I think it's eleven percent of their um, fees. Remember that if you start selling on whatnot, make sure you ship on time within the two or three days. I forget exactly because I, I think you get dinged for it if you don't. This is Highland pottery, which is awesome. I'm gonna pick that up for three dollars. I like the floral pattern on that. And then what else we got here? What we got here? Vunder. They close in a couple hours. I'm not gonna pick up ducks and swans. They just don't do too well for me. This is kind of neat. It's like Mexican pottery. It's a base. It's kind of nice. Hmm. Oh. Do I like it enough? What if I ride around with it a little bit and then I think about it? <laughs> I collect old candles. Look at the frog. Oh no, and he's got flowers. He's really banged up, but I'm gonna rescue him for $3. Yes, he can sit in my owl collection. This is cool. I believe it's a, it's a frog and a mushroom. It's $3 and he's got marks, scuff marks, but again, a vintage candle. And those can go for a lot now. I'll hold on to them for a little bit. I think the Jesus candle is worth it. What if I mold his nose to look properly? <laughs> oh, I can't take him. Look at this guy. Well, because I collect the animal ones. He's all squished. And then there's a brass snuffer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's look for unique ones. Oh, look at this. This is uh, pottery. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I see a tree though, because I collect the trees. Not the candle, but this one. Well, that's a jar. A modern jar. 
I like how like the glaze is lightly on the clay though. I like that. Oh, I like the shape of this candle holder. Off fifth. Oh, it's all banged up. But it's pretty. It's almost like that atomic. And check this out. This might be Mexican pottery. Mm, it's not marked. Let's leave it. That's cool though. This too is nice. Maybe it's crate and barrel. Oh no, it's Ikea. Wait, I saw a couple of things. It's just all scattered. That's not old. And then there's something here. No, that's not old. That's resin. Okay. And then there's an Italian, but it's chipped. It's an Italian piece. Okay. These candle holders. Oh, they are... Are they Hager? Look at the glaze. I have to dig out the can candle wax, though. Oh, wait, I saw something else. Oh, it's party light. Party light gets me every time. Wait a minute. Let's put that down there. This might be Hager. Should I do some research on this, but do I want to spend $4 on each candle holder? Wait a minute. They're like the same one. One is $2.99, one is $3.99. Let's see what they say up there. Um, this is kind of cool, modern. I like the idea. I like the idea. Look at this brass basket. It might be made in India, but it's only $2. And it's honestly heavy and sturdy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Some flowers and potpourri in there. Yes. What do they have for paperweights today? Somebody asked me if I had any unicorns. Maybe I should pick this one up for them. It says hand sculpted. It's $8. I mean, if it's half off, I'll buy it. If it's not, then I won't. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, look at him. $4. Is it signed? Yeah, it is. It's kind of neat. It doesn't sit right though. Yeah, no. Little snail from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, they want $3 for it. I'm just kind of looking around here. Oh, that's a swan hanger. Maybe I have to move on a bit. Oh, I have this. That's funny. It's one of the very first things I thrifted. Oh. Still have it though. This might be Italian. Nope. I think they meant for it to look like it's Italian though. This is Payer's help. Aw. Oh, I kind of like this deer. Look at this candle holder. <laughs> Aw. He's different and kitschy. I think we should take him just in case he's half off of. Oh, here's the. It's. It's half off of yellow, 75 off of white, 75 off of blue. Yeah, nothing about red, so I might actually put that one back. But we'll see. Wasn't he red? Yeah, I think so. I, let me see. I have a lot of red stuff. I might put him back for $4, but it's a little steep, I think. I feel so bad. Some guy just tried talking to me, but I didn't understand what he was saying. Oh, this box is cool. It's only four dollars. It's got fish everywhere. I'll pick that up. I will pick it up. Oh, cloisonne. Oh, there's no price on it. It is dented, but it's beautiful. We'll have to find out the price on that. Okay, there's a little turtle dish here. No price, right? Three dollars? Some cute stuff here. It's just fuzzy. She's a fuzzy bank. It says Baby Jungle Collection. I don't know anything about Baby Jungle. Do you guys know? He seems pretty sturdy. He doesn't feel cheap. Let's look him up. Okay, well, I can't find anything on it. I'm just getting a bunch of plushies when I try to look him up. Y'all, I'm supposed to go live on whatnot after this because I had promised that I would. 
to some people, but it's just really hectic. I don't know if I can. VTP. Interesting. Oops. All right. Look at this thing. Yeah, because because what you're not seeing is me dodging. <laughs> oh, this is a frog. He's cool. Well, there's two of them. I've seen the elephants like this where you, I guess they're secret stash things. But look at this. Oh, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It's kind of creepy. That's a creepy um, ceramic hog for $5. He's weird. And what about this? Is a bird feeder? Feeder? It's missing a whole portion, but I like the wood grain on it. The grain is cool. Oh, I thought that would be heavy. Oh, Columbia. Look at all that inlay. Cool. We don't need it, though. We need things that are going to sell, right? These can. Four dollars. Oh, sorry, ma'am. This one's kind of cool. It's Ikea, though, but I'm not going to pick that up. There's two of them. Scandinavian. It is Scandinavian if it's, if it's Ikea. Correo. Corfu. Sorry, wrong. Wrong word. Three dollars for the owl. This is kind of a cool brass thing. It's signed. Oh, it's made in India. Four dollars. Felt like it was old. Wow, they're getting so good at these things. Making making things look old. Look at this piece. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my gosh, that's Raku. But do I like it? Yeah, it is Raku. It's made to look like coral reef. It's chipped right there, but three dollars. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's signed, but I don't know. That looks like someone's project. <laughs> I might put that back. No, I think I'm going to get it. I like Raku anything. Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? Alien obelisk? <laughs> I hope I said that right. I played a lot of, like, Commander Keen. Do you guys play that when you were younger? Commander Keen? This might be Italian. Yeah, he has that um, Italian texture. And I think it's half off of yellow, right? I think it's half. Yeah. This one, I think, comes from an artist. It's a Terra something. But it's not half off of red, so we're going to leave that. So we picked up this turkey, you guys. $8. Do you think he's missing a lid? I'm not going to pick him up, but I see this wall pocket that I might like. $4. Nice though. Mm, no. Let's leave it there though. Someone should pick that up. Okay, I literally I had to move because I was I'm not kidding when I tell you that I was literally pushed out of the way. This might be Johanna Parker. Yeah, it is Joanna Parker Magenta. And this might be worth the pickup. Right here. Three dollars, three dollars. I mean, I couldn't find any solds just now, but I found them selling from $40 to $70. This one has a paint chip right there. But I mean, $6 would be a good pickup. I like Joanna Parker a lot. It's a cream and sugar set. I like how the creamer is large, you know? So let's go ahead and pick it up and hope that nothing's chipped that I'm missing. Okay, what else can we find here? And Britney Spears is blaring on the top. So we're just gonna talk over her. Well, I always like the basin thingies. That's spongeware though, and not, not a big fan. Is that Francoma? I bet it is. It sure is Francoma. What do they want for it, 20? Yeah, well, they can keep it. That's a lot of money for that. I don't know, I don't know about all of that. All right, I'm over at the Quadrati. I'm speaking Italian too the frames and oh my god hide your kids hide your kids what is this chick doing ten dollars or i would pick it up just because she's silly what is she doing <laughs> anyway hide your kids look at this this is pretty Ooh, that's really pretty someone made that probably bought the frame and made it 
Oh, I love this. I actually saw this in person. That's really neat. I'm not going to pick that up unless someone wants it on the whatnot when I actually go live in a moment. This looks like a lid to a box. It's a cool inlay, though. You can use it for display. It's probably they only had the lid and they figured the same thing I'm thinking. Someone can use it for display. Oh, look at how Art Deco this is. What is this? That is an older frame. It is not the right backing for it. The picture is cool. I don't particularly want it. Still cool. Now we're gonna go on the other side, like the other side of the shelves. I like to look here to make sure I'm not missing any mid-century modern stuff, any good copper stuff. Those um, Lego cups can be valuable. You just have to figure out which one and if Adam was with me he probably he might know that looks old uh let's look at the ice buckets I'm not good with ice buckets and I don't particularly like thrifting them because they sit on my shelves for a long time some of them are pretty valuable though very valuable actually this is a brass basket for $5.99 a little steep for that so all right oh my gosh this is the orange bird sippy cup I have a couple of them that Adam and I picked up during the Flower and Garden Festival in um, at Disney, at Epcot, I believe. And this comes with a top. Okay, so if you want just the cup, you still have to buy the drink. So it's like $20 at the um, park, but it's missing the top. But he's so cute. It hurts me to leave him behind because I really do love orange birds so much. It's a nice platter. It's pretty old. So I normally pick up these loose side pieces, but this one has done turned very yellow. Right? Am I right? They're not already, they're not made yellow. <laughs> I really find them not attractive when they look like that. This is really pretty. I gotta stop with the trivets though. That's another thing I'm a sucker for, trivets. But you know, the tile art might actually be worth something. Let's kind of dig and see what kind of tile art is here though. Check these out, they're almost like Rinconata. Ooh, made in Italy, 87. I like that one, Indian woman. So that's cool, pick that one up. And then we have this one, two for $3. Magmore, yeah, Magmore doesn't sell well for me, but um, it's just really, oh, it's cracked. So we can't pick that up. We're gonna pick up Indian woman though. No, we're not gonna pick her up because I have a lot. I have a lot like that. This might be Italian pottery though. It's some kind of pottery signed. $3, I'm gonna leave it. And he has some old Budweiser um, coasters. All right, what we got down here, this is wood. Wood, and then we have, oops, this is old, y'all. I think so, look at that, old, old. Maybe we pick that up. It's like chalk or something. $2.99. Yeah, we pick that up. It's just kind of pretty. This. It's signed Sayer? Bear? Something like that. Some old uh, rolling pins over there. And then there's this. That's Longer Burger. It's still here. These are all pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, no. Let's see, I can't pick up every piece of pottery just because I think it's cool. <laughs> just because I think pottery is cool, I can't do that. All right, let's see what else. Now we gotta talk over Rihanna. <laughs> oh, he is darling. It's a uh, salt shaker, um, redware maybe, turtle. Oh, he's just a salt shaker and he's missing the bottom, but I love him so much for a buck ninety-nine. We will get him. What about this? Uh, April Cornell by Silvestri. Silvestri does not do too well for me. Um, ooh, this one's really kind of old. Very old. Um, it makes me think that this is, a, you know, not a good piece. I don't pick up anything with... Uh, stuff like that. I don't do that. No. Let's see. Betty's Kitchen. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now we're running into plates. Celery dish. 
spongeware, I think. Sponge, they use a sponge to create that design. What else? What is this? This looks nice. That looks nice. Again, with a thin layer of glaze. Like it. This might be Italian. I might be right this time. $14.99. Yeah, it's Italy. No. We're not doing $14.99. Indoor outfitters? What is that? Wait, it's signed something here. I can't read it. But I wonder if salt and pepper shakers were on that before. It's a buck ninety-nine. I think I'll get that. I just like the glaze. What else? Do we see anything else? Some more spongeware down there. Mm-mm. It's getting a little hot. Oh, this is signed. Maybe Costa Boda? I don't know, but let me do a quick Google Lens thing. Okay, so I couldn't find it. Obviously, it would be hard to find something like this on Google Lens because so many pieces ever always <laughs> you know, look like that. But there is a chip though right here, and I did kind of look long and hard and figured it was Aura 4. It says Aura 4. And there were prices that came up like 200 this and that but they didn't actually sell for like 20 30 dollars that's what it sold for so with the chip too i don't pick up things like glass with chips because it, i mean they won't sell this is kind of neat i want to go like in the center like there's top shelf stuff so let's go check that out actually let's quickly look at the baggies this is like a russian nesting dolls decoupage with birds on it decoupage i don't know those fruit oh, you know I, I used to think like glass fruit not like this but glass fruit doesn't sell it i was like i'm never gonna pick them up again but then i'm on whatnot the other night and somebody literally asked me for glass fruit so it's like just when you think just when you think wow look at this okay then ten dollars i'm gonna zoom you out so you could see what i'm doing uh, this doesn't seem to be much of anything here just a lot of modern a lot of modern pieces me and my mommy me and my daddy me and my family yeah not a lot of vintage stuff today here they are stocking though. I see them. Oh, he's cute. Right, so I found a piece of Raku here. I think it's really cool. It is $10. It's only chipped a little bit on the rim at the top. Raku, and it's signed 1987. So I'm definitely going to pop this in here and keep it. I love old Raku so much. And I'm also seeing this Reuben glass bowl, which is fantastic. And it actually has the sticker on it so it's it says Reuben there is no price on here though but I think it's six dollars because I see a six so I'm gonna pop it in here and then I'll ask them up front okay guys so my phone did die here and I had to go in the car and get my Mophie with the you know my little battery pack so that I can charge it so I can go live on whatnot but I know this was a little shorter than normal video I really do hope you enjoyed this video however and please let me know if there's anything that you saw me thrift that you'd like to purchase you could just email me at jolieflips at aol.com and describe the item i will put out another video for you after this and i promise it will be the reningers one with cat the nurse flipper and adam and i will see y'all soon bye